Hey, Johnny. Dad, how you doing, what's my going friend? On, brother? How you doing? Good man? to see you, man. Johnny, what's going on, brother? Appreciate you coming to see us, yeah. man. And we really appreciate you coming to our auction. My pleasure. Hey, I got Mr. Green sitting right up here. Let's go say hi to him. Hi, Dean Green. Dan, how, how you doing? doing, son? Good to see you. Good to see you. So you're ready? Yes. How many cars? 500. We're going to run like uh, 75 tonight. We're going to run 250 tomorrow, and then 175 on Saturday. I like that yellow truck. That oh, looks yeah. like me, yeah. Dean. Oh, yeah. That'd look, that'd look good in Miami. Yeah, take my little boy to school and that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Bright That's color, cool. too, bright huh? yellow. Yeah. A good color. Yeah. Match your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm low key today. Oh yeah. Well, I appreciate you having me. Well, let's, we appreciate let's you have coming some out. fun this weekend. Okay. Right? What sets Greensboro Auto Auction or GA Classic Cars apart is we're a family-owned business. We got a lot of people that's been dedicated. We take a lot of pride in what we do. We want to make sure when people come, they have an experience. We want them to feel like part of our family. We want them to leave feeling like part of our family. So we do a lot to make that experience an enjoyable for them. Now we just got done building a new uh, classic car diner for uh, this event. We did the sound recording of the cars. You can actually hear them in the background starting them up. That's what you hear when the car comes up to the block. So when you're here, you don't have the fume smell. We know the people that are coming. We know the bidders. We know the sellers. We love the public. And we make it fun. And the reason that it's fun for everybody else is because we're having fun. GAA Classics is really growing and it's exciting. Hey. Hi, beautiful. How are you doing? Aww. Good, good. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful. I got to buy some cars. Are you? Good. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you're here. And thanks for everything you oh, always do for me. Anytime. Yes. We enjoy having you. Uh, you know, people like you are why I come here. Well, thank you very much. We enjoy having you. It's easy to help you. Where's the cars uh, for not tonight? They are outside out there, and then they'll are start those, long line are those those coming up. Through? They will. They'll start to long line those up, and then they'll, like they do from the tent up around. But the ones for tonight are out here. Outside, yes. And, and then out, out through the tent and everything. Starting soon. Starting soon. <laughs> $2,400, I'll make a profit on the 76 Seville. That's good, I'm glad I got something done. It gives me something to drive for the week. Right. Hey, I'm buying this. This 64 Chevelle will sell in Miami. Thank you. That's a pretty car. I'm cleaning up so far, and it's only my first day here. I want to show you a really important part of the auction, an integral part of the auction, where 
He makes deals after the cars go through. And he's really good at what he does. This is Chris Newhauser. He's the deal you, doctor. Mr. Florida. Yeah. How are you doing? He, he makes deals after the deals are done. When the car goes through and doesn't sell and you're interested in it, you talk to the deal doctor and he'll put you together and work on your side to get the deal done. And he's real good at what he does, boy. He really is. Which car are you after? I'm after that 55 Thunderbird. Okay. A black T-Bird just went through? Yeah. Well, I think that, you know, after talking with him, the high bid up there, we were real close. I think one or two more bids would have probably bought it. I can sell that car. I got a paint shop. I can fix it and make it nice. I really want to be 17-ish to buy it. Somewhere in the 21 range. Do you, are you a player on it there? No. I really wanted to be in the upper teens, to be honest. With you. What will you pay for it? What I'd be happy with, 17. How about 18? Let me try 18. You want to try 18? Why don't you? Okay. So if there's roughly five, four, five hundred cars, we'll usually translate into 40 or 50, 60 cars at this desk that didn't sell at the block. This is an opportunity or a second chance for the bidder to come over and buy a customer's car that didn't sell up there. I'm going to go back to the deal, doctor, and we'll see how he made out. Maybe I bought myself a T-Bird. So how did you do? Well, I think that if we came up a little bit, we could get the deal done. But right now, we're stuck at 21. I appreciate the well offer. Done. I appreciate it. Check out another one. Oh, well, you're going to see me all weekend. Thank you. Ted tried to negotiate that Thunderbird down, the black car, and we're just a couple thousand dollars apart. He's not willing to come up. The seller's not willing to come down. So sometimes there's just not that happy medium, but we got real, real close. <laughs>